We're here with our local guides, Dr. Teo Paredes, anthropologist, and Wilco, who is a local indigenous wisdom keeper. The site of Saxe Waman or Saxa Uma. And this is the largest polygonal wall in the Americas. The quarry is eight kilometers or five miles away. The question is how were these stones moved from the quarry which is up and over a series of mountains. Conventional archaeology says that because there was a high population in Cusco, people would be able to simply roll the stones um, on top of wooden rollers, that sort of distance, and pulling with ropes, etc., etc. But they can't explain how something of this size was cut from the bedrock wall, A, and B, the fact is that in Inca times, the only trees that grew in this area are small scrub trees that do not have straight, um, not stems, but trunks. And so the alternative explanation is that this was built thousands of years before the Inca and was done by a race that understood and utilized forms of resonance and vibration. In other words, lost ancient high technology. The other people say that the name of this is Saxa Uma. Ah. Uma is head, and Saxa is kind of little spots. So if you see, Saxa Waman is in the top of a hill, and around these places, they were some kind of small um, formations of rock. So it's like a spread of this kind of uh, uh, head. And the other one is Quechua is a very onomatopoeic language. In Quechua, whatever you make the sound, you try to match with the meaning of it. Perhaps, if I am cold and I am say I'm shaking, I say katatashangmi, katatashangmi. Mm. If you say something that is vibrating like a flag or something, you say unanchi rapapapashan. Oh, so it's wow. Okay, so if this is true for many other things, here we have the word Sag, Sag, Uma. Sag, Sag is the beat of the heart. Sag, Sag, siastole and diastole. And Uma is head, bless you. The two main <coughs> organs that rules any higher being biologically. Perhaps you see Stone Age, even today, big cathedrals, like Gothic cathedrals, yeah. where yeah. they have a huge main entrance, whatever. Mm -hmm. Here you see this is another big entrance. Mm -hmm. But architecture has to match something which is the comfort of the one who is going to use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? But here's a little detail. The original gate is this. Okay? And this is the size of this. These steps are put in here later on. Doesn't belong to this. It's not from the same time. So, they are not going to make something that you have to climb like this. Except if I, if I am maybe another three feet higher. A giant. A giant. Yes. So then it makes sense, this. Right. So the second occupation are the ones who have been made this to make this useful for them. Mm -hmm. right. right. So we are talking, and it's very clear. If you look, you see this, this one could have originally connected with yeah, that one, one, 
and then that sure. one yes. was actually up on that one. Right. This whole thing may have been turned upside down 180 degrees. Right. What the kind of cataclysm could have done that? A mega cataclysm. Yeah. yeah. You feel it when you. I, I start feeling that when you go lower, Lucas. Yeah? Go lower. Mm. Whoa, look at this. This is. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, be careful walking down here. Yeah. <laughs>